Hey guys, it's Christopho and welcome to another Solaris tutorial. In this video I'm going to explain um, grounds. So the ground property of tiles and of other entities um, is the, the terrain. Um, so you already know two types of grounds traversable travel traversable grounds sorry and walls but um, there are more than that so let's start with an example uh, we'll make um, an outside map let's call it ground grounds with the light world tile set and the overworld music okay Uh, destination. So first of all I should update my script. Set starting location grounds this time. I will still not um, doing any, any programming in this episode except what I just did. Okay so I'm on this map. <coughs> For example, if I make a cliff like this, I don't know. Um, all of these are walls, and these two ones. No, this one is also a wall, I think. We can check in the tile sets if we click here, or, or tile set and double click light world. So this guy is a low wall actually wall and wall. So yeah, we have traversable and wall. These are the two common two more the most the most two common uh, types of grounds of terrains. But um yeah, there are a lot more. But um this already deserves some explanation. All of this is on the same layer for now, layer 0. Okay? But um Tiles can overlap, so this one is overlapping this one, even if they are on the same layer. And when this is the case, um, the topmost tile overrides, overrides what is below. So this is why these squares here will be walls. The terrain property is actually defined on each 8x8 eight eight square. So all these squares are walls and these ones are traversable because the highest tile wins when some, some tiles overlap. Okay, so this is how it works. It also means that if I add uh, something like this. Um, it looks horrible, but it works. <laughs> this one is a traversable dirt tile. It replaces what was below. Okay, so we're still on layer 0. All of these are on the same layer, but the, their, uh, their Z, Z order is important. So the highest one wins on the same layer. Of course you can have uh, let's make a tree like in the previous episode. Okay. Layers one and two are not displayed. Tree like this. Maybe move it like this, or not like this. So this one overlaps this one, but they are not on the same layer. So uh, there is no, re not really any problem. Um, yeah. So the hero will necessarily be behind the leaves. 
and if for example we forget this whatever exists on layer 0 still exists so the hero cannot go north here because this tile is still exists okay so it works layer by layer <coughs> but let's put this one back and actually um, the, the same kind of trick is used if you can call this a trick here to implement the door if I come back to that map um, first map oh something's wrong in my map okay that's normal I wanted the hero to go behind here below but uh, if I disable layer number 2 we can see that the arrow can go here, but not here, there's a wall. So, I forgot to do this. And also I will need this and this. Otherwise the arrow could go like this. Under the, the roof. I mean under these. So yeah, okay. Now the hero is, um, he can go here in the door. These ones, these exact three tiles are on layer, sorry, on <laughs> layer two, yeah. And th the rest is on layer one, and there is nothing on layer zero. So the hero is on layer one. He is necessarily displayed uh, behind these. And the fact that this tile on layer 1 is above this one mm, fixes the problem we had. Um, you can change the relative order on the same layer of two tiles with bring to back or bring to front. It doesn't change layer, it changes the, the Z, Z order on the layer. So bring to back and then we're gonna have the problem again. So cancel. Okay. And um, last detail dynamic entities. So teletransporters, enemies, chests, blocks non-playing characters as well as the hero are always displayed after the tiles tiles are a bit special they are optimized they are they are the background graphics of the map <coughs> so if you take a destination and and try to put it to the back it won't go below the in, below any tile even if they are on the same layer. Well, destinations are not the greatest example because they don't... This one don't, doesn't have a sprite. It could have a sprite, so... Uh, entities, destination... This is destination of teletransporter in A Link to the Past. No way to put it behind tiles that are on, on it the same layer. Of course you can put it behind uh, uh, higher layer, higher layers. Okay. <coughs> um, back to the other map. Let's try to understand other types of grounds. So, for example, you have diagonal walls. These ones. And by the way, just use control and the mouse wheel to zoom in. We can do a diagonal cliff like this. 
and this and this remove that ugly tile okay so um, if I put the grid again um, this 8 by n square here cannot be a wall cannot be traceable either it has the property uh, top right wall and this will allow the, the hero to nicely slide I'm only pressing the right key now and the hero just slides he moves diagonally Okay, and um, yeah, so these are diagonal walls. Let's try a few more, a few more types. We have holes. Move this, and also two types of water grounds: shallow water, this one, shallow water, and deep water. Shallow water like this with these guys to make the junction with normal grass. And you can put a few of these, for example. And you also have deep water, which you can connect to shallow water using these guys so yeah this is something you can do and normally if, if I try to resize with the R key yes it, it works Okay, so let's try the results. So the behavior of these built-in grounds is very similar to A Link to the Past. It's really... I really try to reproduce the same. So if you go too close to the hole, you are... you are aspired by the hole. And you lose some life. If you go in shallow water, you have the same uh, sprite and sound as in the Legend of Zelda A Link to the Past and if you go to deep water but don't have the, the swimming ability you just drown and there is a way to tell to the engine that the hero is able to swim and also that he is able to jump over the water if you want because in A Link to the Past he doesn't just drown like this he, he jumps first so this is customizable but uh, we will see this later just wanted to show that you can have several types of grounds so again uh, the highest one wins so I don't know if you want to put a hole let's do plane to front a hole inside the water is the first time I try this but uh, should work and whenever you fall into a hole um, you are teleported back to the last solid ground coordinates the last place where you you were on solid ground okay so there are a few other one types, a few other types, ice, uh, spikes, lava, and ladder. Ladder is just something to slow down the hero. So if you take the ladder here, its only effect is just to slow the hero down.
Okay. Um, what is grass? Grass should grass is used for um, for grass that you can cut. So actually, it's more with something dynamic, destructible objects. Uh, we will see that later. And empty is a bit special. It just means uh, really nothing, like if there was no tile. Because if something is traversable, um, it means that you don't fall in the in the next layer. For example, if I put the destination on the top of the tree, just because it's fun, <laughs> don't do that. But uh, if you go here, you just fall. Okay. Because uh, the ground property of of this on the layer number one is empty. If you have if you had something traversable, he would not fall. So maybe so uh, in some rare occasions you might want to have uh, visible tiles that are still empty so to make the hero fall. Like I don't know clouds or something uh, Something the hero should uh, traverse. I mean, he should fall. Uh, okay, and by the way, doing this is probably a very bad idea because if you go to the south, you will be stuck. Yeah. So <laughs> be very careful. Because you just fall. Okay, when you leave the layer, this part is empty here and you just fall. So actually maybe it's an example. If I had... This is a bit advanced but uh, there is an invisible traversable tile here. So that's a way to fix the problem if you really want to do this. So invisible, so <laughs> of course it's not very easy to handle. Is it under a good layer? No, I, I picked the wrong layer, sorry. Okay. So now I can walk on the invisible tile on layer 1, and if I ever fall, I am on layer 0 now. But uh, yeah, it's not really looking good. So. Bad example. <laughs> I was just trying to explain different grounds. Um, traversable. Traversable and walls are really, really the most common ones. Uh, you also have diagonal obstacles with uh, water for these cliffs that uh, end uh, in water. And uh, yeah, so, um, oops, I think this is all I wanted to say about grounds and even more with uh, this stupid test. So yeah, if you have other questions, mm, feel free to ask. And if you appreciate uh, appreciated the episode, uh, please make a like. It gives us a lot of motivation, of course, to continue these tutorials. Okay, thank you all for watching and see you next time. Bye.